Drew here, Frisco Tennis Shop. I'm about to in install some strings in this racket, uh, and afterwards I'm actually going to install some string savers. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install some string savers, but I'm also going to discuss why so many players use string savers to help prolong the strings in their tennis racket. String savers, like the name suggests, are simply pieces of plastic or Teflon that are installed between the main and cross strings to help prolong the life of tennis strings. Uh, who should use string savers? Really anybody. Uh, the only time I would say it doesn't make a lot of sense to use string savers is if you use a full bed of polyester-based strings, which a lot of people are using now. Po Copoly strings are made to be durable. Uh, they're made to be uh, inelastic. They're made to slide and snap. Uh, usually by the time they break, they're losing tension anyway, most of the time. Uh, so other than that, anyone else uh, should use string savers if they're not getting enough play out of their strings as is. So for example, Federer often uses string savers. He has a gut polyester uh, hybrid. So if you have a hybrid string setup like that, or you use gut, nylon multi, synthetic gut, and say you really like your strings are just breaking too early, they're breaking while they still have plenty of tension, String savers may be a good solution to that problem. That way you don't always have to restring and you're still getting plenty of play out of those strings you like so much. I typically use the Babolat Elastocross string savers because they're made out of Teflon. They're real easy to install. Uh, and one of these packs uh, can cover several rackets. Uh, but the Teflon is great because rather than plastic, you actually get a little bit of a slide in that string. Sometimes plastic just simply wedges the string uh, and the, the main and cross string together, but the Teflon allows a little bit of movement. So these Babolat Elastocross ones I really enjoy, but if you find a string saver you like, other companies make them, certainly go with those as well. Uh, but this I can do several rackets with, it's easy to use, and I, I've become just a big fan of these Elastocross string savers. The most important question I get on this is how will it affect playability? Obviously if you like your strings and you're inputting a material on the sweet spot of the racket, uh, how will that affect the playability? It's just going to make the string bed more firmer or stiffer because you are putting a material in between the main and cross, so it will make the string bed a little bit firmer. Uh, this, a lot of people say, helps them with spin and control. I think it's a little bit subjective. I, if there's other, if people want more spin and control, I think there's other things you can do other than string savers. But hey, if you put these in your rack and you feel like it's the firmer string bed gives you a little bit more spin and, and control. Go with it, they're perfectly legal to use, pros use them, so uh, go for it. Uh, that's sort of a subjective thing uh, on how much spin uh, you'll get by using these, but uh, certainly it's gonna make the string bed a little bit firmer, so you definitely wanna factor that in when you use string savers. And where do we wanna put string savers? Uh, usually people put them wherever you make contact with a ball, whether it's a 10 by 10 pattern on the, uh, in the center of the racket frame where you make contact. Some people have a pattern where they skip uh, every other string. You got to be careful doing that because obviously the whole point of these is to reduce the friction between the main and the cross string. Uh, the string saver is made to ensure the main and cross don't have friction or as much friction as they do without them. Uh, so you just want to make sure by skipping those if you're making contact at that point a lot you could get an early break there. The Bablot string saver locks fit uh, easily in your hand. Uh, basically you just want to make sure you have enough string savers in the uh, center channel of the lock. Uh, basically, you're just going to be using your, your finger to roll down each string saver uh, so you can put it in between the main and cross strings. So it's a pretty simple tool. You just make sure that there's uh, plenty of string savers loaded in the center chamber and you're just going to use your finger to roll down uh, each lock. Basically, what you want to do is before you roll down any saver, uh, just make sure you wedge the string. It's either going to be a main or a cross string and wedge the strings apart. All you need is a little bit of distance between those two strings. So use your tool to wedge the string up and then you're just going to slide down one string saver lock in between and then simply release. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice once you get started, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's, it's pretty straightforward. The one thing I would say, you just have to alternate which direction you approach the string from. So sometimes you're going to be coming from the main string side and sometimes from the cross string side. This is because you're using the, the lock or the, the string saver tool to wedge the strings apart 
and you if you just go one direction you're going to be underneath the string and here i have the racket mounted uh because i just strung it but you don't need to mount the racket you can do this with the racket on your lap you just need to make sure it's steady because uh, you will be wedging those strings apart here i did an 8x8 eight eight, uh, string saver uh, pattern you can go a 10x10 10 10, uh, really whatever works for you some people like i said skip uh, every a uh, few strings for me, I like to have a solid square. This is an 8x8. Eight eight. A lot of guys go 10x10. 10 10. Really, whatever works for you, where you get the most breaks is obviously where you want to put that string saver lock. One thing I like about these Bablot string savers, they will hold into place pretty well. I've used some other brands in the past that they'll they'll fall uh, while I'm playing. But uh, once these are in there with the string tension on, on the string saver lock, it should stay into place. So to summarize, if you use a soft string, a gut, synthetic gut, uh, nylon multi uh, and you're breaking strings more often than you like but you really like the strings. String savers may be a good solution to that problem to help ensure you can play with those strings much longer.